Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you for taking time to stop by today. I wanted to show you how I make mini fairy gardens using the magnetic tins from Dollar Tree. So we're going to be taking some of the fairy garden minis and we're going to be turning them into these little magnetic tins. So, so cute. So supplies that you're going to need for this, the magnetic tins, the little minis. Now they have all different kinds at Dollar Tree. They come three in a pack and uh, I have a variety of them out here today. You're going to need a glue gun, some filler for the tin. This is actually Easter basket grass that I have in here. And maybe a variety of flowers if you want to use flowers. So these are the tins that we have. They come two in a pack. So take one of those out of there. If I can open it, that would be a big help. There we go. Got one of those. And then we're going to put some glue in the bottom of this. And the grass is really just used as a filler. So it'll help cushion the mini figure. So just put a little bit of glue on the bottom. And like I said, this is just Easter basket grass. And I chopped it up a little bit, so I made just little pieces of it. We're going to fill our tin with this. I'm already thinking of Christmas when I see all those little miniatures. The couples walking and lampposts and things like that. I already have ideas for that. So I was looking at these little guys and I thought I really like this one here. I think I'm gonna use him today. He's really cute. So I'm gonna put some glue on him. Just on his back and on the bottom. And we're gonna take him and we're just gonna press him in here and hold him for a minute so he takes and you don't have to use grass for this for the filler I have some moss that I use for some um, and probably depending on what you want to do I'll, I'll show you a few others that I did and what I used and then I think I'm going to use these little flowers that I cut off and we'll put those in there too. Just a pinch of glue just so that they stay real good. Okay. If there's anything sticking up, I usually just try and trim it. We want to be able to see him. So there he is. He's in there really nice and tight. We're going to put our top on, make sure that he's good in there, and then I glue the tops down. So you can use uh, glue dots. I actually like glue dots better to secure these only because sometimes with the glue gun, there's those lines of glue that come out, and I had them go across the front and not realized it. So I actually ran out of glue dots, though, for now. So we're going to put that on, and there he is. There's our little gnome. So simple. Just see, that's what I was talking about, these little glue strings. But there he is. And I have a cookie sheet here. 
with several others on there. This is an angel, and I used feathers in the back of that one. And same with this. This little guy here, just so cute. There's a bird with a bird bath and some flowers. Of a deer and all of these I got at Dollar Tree three in a pack so really simple very inexpensive there's a bunny and a flower so there's a lot of possibilities with these I know gnomes are quite popular a lot of people do fairy gardens so just one more thing that you can do with your little figures. So I hope you like this. I thank you again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.